What's up, Piper Drivers? Welcome back to the channel. Today in the house, I got something that I never thought I would have in my collection, the B-Wing helmet from Return of the Jedi. Welcome back everyone to the channel. I am the Medina Lorian here to show you guys all the cool Star Wars stuff that you could be collecting to add to your awesome Star Wars room. So if you like Star Wars like I do, please like, subscribe and turn on notifications so you can jump to light speed every week with us right here on the Hyperdrive. So getting back to this, this, this relic of history right here. This is the B-Wing helmet from Return of the Jedi. Something that only had seconds of viewing on, on the film, you know, is now in my collection and it's super cool. This is only one of 25 ever made in the world for the Hyperdrive group. Um, I know there's other people that have, that have made this, that have modeled this and created it, but this one right here was used, uh, they used molds from the prop store, so it has direct lineage to the actual helmet that was used in Return of the Jedi. So that's, this makes this very, very exclusive, very cool. It was built and painted by Frankie Valka, so awesome work, my friend. If I'm saying your name wrong, I apologize, but this looks fantastic. Great, great work. Um, so super, super stoked to have this in the collection right now. Uh, I actually had to go and, and bother a friend of mine who has this book called The Star Wars Costumes uh, and Props, I think is what the book is called. If you don't already own this book, I found it on Amazon, they have it on sale. So pick it up right now if you can, I did today. So next time I'll have this for myself and I'll know what I'm looking at. But I actually looked up there to see if I can get some history on this helmet. And so basically the B-Wing and the A-Wing were introduced in Return of the Jedi. So when they introduced the two new ships, uh, George Lucas wanted to have new costumes designed for those pilots. And they actually redesigned the costume for the Y-Wing, giving in the original one in A New Hope, the Y-Wing and the X-Wing pilots both shared uh, the same exact color suit, that orange jumpsuit. Uh, but when they created the, the B-Wing and the A-Wing, they wanted to go back to that and, and change those things. So the B-Wing was given this helmet, which is kind of a modified version of the A-Wing helmet. Um, they put this visor here on front. I think the A-Wing has a visor that's a little bit higher. It's a little different than this one here. Um, and then the pilots would wear these flight caps, kind of like a World War II flight cap, which I actually had to order one of these separately. So I got one of those coming as well. It was supposed to already be here, but you know, stuff happens. So it'll get here eventually. But anyway, they wore these helmets and had a red suit. And then they were only on screen for seconds. They actually even designed a uh, full ship, not a full ship, but the cockpit so that they would have scenes with the pilot flying, but they ended up scrapping that and not using it in the film. So you really only got to see this pilot uh, for seconds in the film, right? So really cool to have this in the collection, man. I got to show you some of this stuff. The prop also came with a signature plaque, which is from David Stone. So you can see that right here. And that he was one of the actors that actually paid the, uh, the B-Wing pilot. So that's what, that's what I have here right now. Like I said, only 25 of these made in the world. And it's really, really neat. So I, the book doesn't really describe all of the different Greeblies that go into this thing. So they has this connector right here, which I'm gonna assume is some kind of charging port because <laughs> it kind of looks like that. Kind of reminds me of like some kind of like uh, uh, RCA or VGA plug that they had back in the 80s, you know? Uh, you have a microphone right here, which is where they, you, know, you would speak to and when, they, when they're talking to each other in the movie or pretend to anyway. And then they have these cables that run all the way around the back of the helmet and to the opposite side, which is super cool. It's pretty neat trying to figure out what all of the uh, Greeblies are. So the helmet itself is very, very light. Uh, that's something that I'm coming to realize is just a thing for these uh, old uh, props from, from the Star Wars era. Um, you know, it seemed like the, like the Y or the X-Wing helmet that I just received recently, it was very light as well. So, you know, these, uh, you know, close to film pieces are all going to be this way. So it's just going to be a thing of that. So if you're looking for something that's going to be very heavy, this is definitely not it. This is even lighter than the X-Wing helmet. Uh, you, the, the thing that's really neat about this is that it's open, uh, up here. So trying to slide your head in, you know, I've got to wonder how it, how it holds on your face and everything. I'm assuming the flight cap has those ear pieces that it connects to, and that allows for that. Uh, I really like the way the visor looks on this. 
And I did try to slide my head into this, by the way. My, my head's a little too big to get into this bottom hole here. <laughs> so I didn't really want to mess with it so much. It's because it's just so damn pretty. I didn't want to break it. You know, it feels very fragile. So I love that big visor that it has there on the very front. And you can see all of the weathering that uh, Frankie put into this. I mean, it looks really, really neat. You can see the deteriorated areas, all the, the grime here that built up and everything, which I really like. And I like how the paint is starting to chip away here. So that looks really, really cool. You know, and there's more of that on the back. You can see where these cables are. I don't understand this piece. Or like it doesn't have like some kind of hook or anything like that, but I guess that's how it was in the, in the actual prop. And this is gonna look really good next to the B-Wing that I'm looking to get. And check that out. So you have this like connector. This kind of looks, reminds me of some kind of like board or something from, uh, from some kind of computer piece or maybe, or, or like a like hard drive part. That's kind of what this reminds me of. And you got these bolts and screws and everything. If you look real closely, you can see that in the front visor, there's actual screws where, where this mounts in to place. And the visor itself doesn't actually come off or anything like that. It doesn't slide up or anything. I think the idea was that it would have something like that, like a slide action. But, you know, for the movie purposes, they didn't, they didn't do that. And then this is your chin strap, which the chin strap has some flex to it. So you can get your head in there if your head is a little smaller than mine. I almost make it, but my ears get caught. So I just, I didn't want to risk it, you know? <laughs> so but check out that paint job there in the front. I really like how it's just like, like I said, chipping away and looks dirty, looks used. That's something I really like about the Rebel helmets, that everything just looks very, very dirty and, and very uh, uh, worn, you know? So super fantastic. I can't wait to get the, uh, some kind of bust or something to, to put it on this because this is really unique, right? Anyway, I just wanted to share that with you guys, let you guys know that this is out there in the world and it's a possibility to get something like this if you search or if you join the Hyperdrive group. And tune in this Saturday because we're going to be revealing a brand new prop for you guys to get your hands on. And if you want to get in, in on it and try to pick it up, you could join the Hyperdrive Facebook group, which I'll leave a link in the description below for you guys to get to. So anyway, I just wanted to share, with you, share this with you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think about this one in the comments below. And until next time, may the force be with you.